It didn't hurt that you left. It hurt that you didn't even care. That you had said so many things, then acted like I wasn't even there. I hoped I might be wrong, because you had treated me so well, and if you were a bad person, I think my intuition would be able to tell. But maybe you're not a bad person. Maybe you just can't accept the good. And maybe I jinxed us from the start by thinking that someday you could. I feel really stupid. But I hadn't felt anything in so long. And I felt so understood like maybe with you, I would belong. I used to get trapped in your gaze. Now I avoid looking you in the eye. Because my anxiety makes me nauseous any time you pass by. You don't even realize the complete 180 you've made in my mind. I wanted you so bad. And now I just want to leave you behind. Today takes a little more effort, so much effort to look away, but if I don't put myself first, how can I expect anybody to stay? So I set the standard, the boundary drawn on a tile floor. I wanted you so bad, but I don't want to feel like this anymore. Because you know who I do want? Someone amazingly kind, because I'm getting tired of holding everything that weighs down my mind, but it's not theirs to hold. So I leave it all here, forgotten in a diary that maybe I'll publish next year. Maybe you'll find it, an annotation in a book. Some other girl writes down exactly how long it really took. Maybe you'll see it, a rainbow shining in the sky. And maybe you'll regret how you never really tried. And you'll fall in love again. Maybe she'll love poetry too. And when you find my diary on her shelf, don't put her through what you put me through.